What's up, everybody? I'm so tired right now. I keep on sipping on this coffee, but it's I'm like super hot, so I can't keep myself awake at all. No, I'm someone who I don't like to necessarily be the center of attention, and this is why I want to make a video about the reason God wants you to be alone right now. It seems the times where I thrive the most are whenever I'm alone while I'm by myself. Whenever I'm holding myself accountable to stuff, rather than relying on others. Now, it's not good to just constantly exclude people out of your life. You definitely need good friendships and good relationships in your life and definitely have people who can support you. That's the first point I want to make here. Sometimes the only person you need to rely on is God. In the book of Matthew, chapter 14, verse 23, and after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up the mountains by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. This is what Jesus did, you know, after he was doing his ministry. And, you know, it was kind of tough for him. I mean, he was human too. He struggled just like we do. And sometimes he just needed that alone time to, to go some find somewhere quiet and Praise God. It's very important for us to find moments where we can sit in silence and and really hear His voice. Because this world is really noisy. And sometimes you're not going to be able to hear Him. So whether it's your, you know, your room, um, just sitting outside. I like to sit outside in my backyard. Or just drive somewhere isolated or I'll do it while I'm on a hike and it's not super busy. I just find a bench to sit on. You know, God puts us in isolation seasons for a reason. I remember whenever he convicted me, I started spending a lot of time alone by myself, distancing myself from old friends. He was working on destroying my flesh and renewing my spirit slowly and you know I didn't notice too much at first I was just really depressed and anxious but you know it was all for a good reason I prayed a whole bunch I read the Bible a whole bunch I, I walked out in the nature and just talked to him a whole bunch like like he was my friend like another person was right beside me and that's the thing he is, he is always right beside you. you just gotta find moments where you can isolate yourself and you know, that's really when you're going to feel His presence. In Lamentations chapter 3, 28, let Him sit alone in silence when it is laid on Him. We'll get, we're going to get in situations like this, like it's just going to happen. You know, life is so crazy and random, you just don't know when you're going to have to deal with being alone. The next one I want to talk about is you know, fulfilling your purpose. Now, it just depends on what your purpose really is, but I remember when I started making videos and like content, you know, it was either this really depressing or, you know, I had no sense of direction with it. It was just everywhere. You know, my videos weren't doing as good then. You know, that's what led me to start creating Christian content because, you know, I spent a lot of time alone just thinking about it and. You know, this is when I started working out a whole bunch. I wouldn't say I completely put up my camera, but I took a good two months off from using it. And, you know, I came back and I was like, you know what? I'm going to start filming some of these workouts and start quoting some of the scripture and using this Christian motivation to, you know, be the core of my videos. You know, as a, as a man, we got to be able to do what we're called to do first. We gotta put away all the distractions. There are so many distractions in this world, you know. We gotta separate ourselves from the things. We gotta we gotta do it alone in a in a sober mind. In a focused and disciplined mind. That that is when we thrive the most. In Colossians chapter six, verse four through five it says But let each one test his own work and then his reason to boast will be in himself alone and not in his neighbor. 
for each one will have the bear's own load. We're called to figure out what it is that we want in life. What, you know, what God's purpose is for us. And we're not going to find that through through our neighbor. We're not going to find that through other people. We got to we got to really separate ourselves sometimes and and hear God's voice and like what do you want what he wants us to do rather than what the world wants us to do. If it's other Christians that you're, you surround yourself with, their ministry may be different from like, you know, what your calling is, what your purpose is. And my last point I want to make here is, you're not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. This goes so more into relationships. And I went back through my Bible yesterday before I made this video. And I went back to 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 7. And, you know, Paul really touched his base on, you know, why it's better to be alone than to seek a woman. And verse 7 says, For I wish that all men were even as myself, but each one has his own gift from God, one in this manner and another in that. Paul, Paul never even married, but, you know, he was so fulfilling his purpose anyways. He was called to be alone, and you know, some men are always going to be better alone, but you know, some aren't. And you know, that's just a, that's just the tough truth of, truth of it all. And verse twenty four says, "Brethren, let each one remain with God in that state which he was called." Verse twenty seven: Are you bound to a wife? Do not seek to be loose. Are you loose from a wife? Do not seek a wife. He's going to send you one. Like I said, you need to fulfill your purpose right now, and you only need to rely on Him. You were not ready yet. I'm not ready yet either. Like, you know, this is, a, this is a message for myself too. That's why I made this video. Verse 32. But I want you to be without care. Who is unmarried cares for the things of the Lord. How may and how he may please the Lord. Some women are going to take you away from him and what your purpose is because you're going to be so focused on pleasing them and it's going to separate you from God. When we're only focused on God, we're doing the things that please him so he'll send us somebody in his own time. You see what you see what I mean here? You know, that's why this is, this is very important right here. It's probably the most important chapter of the Bible when it talks about being single. And the final one I highlighted was, And this I say for your own profit, not that I may put a leash on you, but for what is proper, and you may serve the Lord without distraction. You know, women are a distraction. Drugs, uh, you know, music, uh, I don't know, food, like I don't know, whatever it is for you. Now at the end of the day, it's just us and God, you know. It's just us in prayer. We need to become more spiritually mature before he can send us to good things. But anyways, guys, that's all I have for this video. I hope everyone has a blessed rest of your day. Oh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.